Now you want me to say try to back with another deck every today, but you're looking at a kind of bizarre deck. The air deck, not a stereotypical deck that I would get. It was on Kickstarter earlier this year, and I wasn't going to get it, and then I changed my mind last minute, and now I'm kind of, well, maybe was I hadn't, but I did. <laughs> so it is what it is. I don't, I did not get who the name, the creators were, I apologize for that. Uh, they were designed to be waterproof, travel friendly, washable, etc, etc. So they are completely plastic. Front says Air Deck, AirDeck.com. You can get more information there. Link will be down below in case you can't read it. <laughs> With a kind of a snowflake symbol, whatever, geometric symbol. 54 playing cards, it says casino friendly, travel friendly, waterproof, lightweight, and extra durable. And there's nothing on the one side. Or the other top has just got that little logo, which is also the back design, by the way. The bottom is a barcode, and in the back you see the Ace of Spades it says "Made in Taiwan." I don't know if it's made by the Taiwan Coin Card Company or if it's made by somebody else. It also comes in black and red. The top cases are also plastic. So they're not going to get wet, they're not going to rip on you or anything like that. You can try to rip it. <laughs> the um, cards themselves look like this. The Jokers, it's like a figure eight. It says Joker in the corner. One's in black, the other's in red. It's a smooth plastic finish. It's a, uh, I should say, it's a matte varnish. That is the Ace of Spades, very simple. And then the Court Guards, the Kings, the Queens, and the Jacks. They just got different types of crowns. Oops. <laughs> and then the number cards are just, you know, straightforward. And the backs, it's that symbol, borderless, full bleed, if you will. And it actually, <laughs> actually kind of fans a little bit. It's hard to fan because it's so thin. These cards are, and I will give you measurements, they are 3.43 by 1.26 inches, aka 87 by 32 millimeters, depending on how you want to measure it or how you calculate it. But basically, to put it in terms you can understand, they have the thickness of a regular deck of cards. Like the Hoyle, Hoyle Slice that I got years ago from a USB-C producer, you can still get it. Much more affordable, by the way, to get the Hoyle Slice than these. I don't remember how much these are, but they're available at most card magic shops. Thanks to Murphy's Magic. So you got that one in white. Of course, there's also a red one. Looks like this. And like these, white pitch for the hearts and diamonds, black for the spades and clubs, everything else is the same. And you get, of course, the black one, which is going to be more of the same. Now, there you go. This one you get white for the spades and clubs, red for the hearts and diamonds, which obviously makes sense. I don't even know if I should begin to rate these or what. They are a bit harder to handle because they're so thin. And also because they're really slippery. They're, because they're plastic. Um, personally, I don't think they're really worth it. <laughs> Um, like I said, if you want a deck that's kind of unique in size like this, get the Hoyle Slice from USBC's website for a fraction of the price. And um, I think you'll be happy with it. I have a review of those on my channel, Hoyle Slice. So check it out in the Hoyle playlist. Um, and quite frankly, if you're looking for playing cards, you know, for traveling and whatnot, just get a regular, regular standard deck of cards. Just get a either a... Bicycle deck of cards, a standard bicycle deck of cards, which cost a couple bucks. It's easily uh, affordable and replaceable. 
or get a plastic deck. I mean, if you cannot fit a regular bicycle deck in your carry-on or in your backpack, you might not need it. <laughs> I mean, but I don't see how you cannot fit a regular deck. This is obviously very easy to store and carry because it's so small and thin. It is waterproof and washable. But there are plenty of decks out there that are waterproof and washable and plastic that you can get that are just standard size are much easier to use and handle. Still washable and whatnot. And they should still fit in your backpack or your luggage without any issue. And I think they'd be much better to use. So quite frankly, I'd probably say like 5 out of 10 for this one. 4 out of 10, whatever. I don't know. It's pretty low. So that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Special thanks to the sponsor of this channel, Murphy's Magic. And I said he's available at various card magic slots from what I've seen in all three colors. So that is that. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.